ברוכים הבאים, Welcome to this beautiful חופה, this wedding canopy under which you enter into the covenant of marriage. החופה is a sacred space, and I've always found it interesting that it has a roof, so as to protect you and shield you from the elements, but it has no walls, so you can welcome your friends and your family, the people who love you most of all, into your home as you do today. It's finally summertime, and it's the season of happiness. Summertime is the time to kick off our shoes and let our hair down. It's the time of year to do all the things we've been meaning to do. But most of all, it's the season of love. Summertime makes me think of the teaching from our tradition, which asks, who is rich? and then answers the ones who are happy with what they have. Happiness is going on adventures like kayaking on the Chicago River and traveling to four continents in three years. Happiness is making a homemade pasta for dinner. Happiness is snuggling in and reading together on trains, on planes, or just at the end of a long day. Happiness is when all of your dreams come true. happiness is being here under the chuppah with you, seeing how much you love each other, how happy you make each other. Sam, when I walked into our first date, I had no idea the turn my life was about to take. At first, I was instantly drawn to your beauty, your fun, upbeat attitude, and the common memories we had of life in Ann Arbor. Peter, I've known that I wanted to marry you for so long that I can't believe the day is finally here. Over the past four years, you've come to mean so much to me. You're not just my best friend, you're my confidant, you're the calm I need after a hard day, and you're my favorite pillow to sleep on. As I got to know you better, I became enamored by your work ethic, determination, and empathy for others. When you agreed to go kayaking in the filthy Chicago River as a second date, I knew you were special, and I knew that we were going down a special path. I love you for your adventurous nature. Not only do you make all of my traveling dreams come true, but you encourage me to take risks, to swim with sharks, and to paraglide off cliffs. I promise you that as we go forward in life, we will continue to live a life full of adventure and exploration. I don't think that you're my better half, Peter. We're both whole people individually, but we're just so much better together. I promise you that I'll always be passionate about our marriage and working with you to make it successful. You're my mind's equal, my heart's love, and my soul's partner. My biggest vow to you today is to never take your love for granted and to always support you the way that you've supported me. You've already been there for me in the worst of times, and I vow to spend my life with you creating the best of times. May God always be with you on all of your adventures. Whether you're kayaking down some crazy river, or whether you're hiking a mountain, or just traveling and exploring a new city, may God always look after you. May God always grant you the blessing and the wishes of your heart. May God grant you health and happiness and peace. We now pronounce you husband and wife, friends and lovers for as long as God grants you life. Most importantly, you've always been available as a friend, a sounding board, and a confidant. I promise to be with you through good times and through bad times for the rest of our time on Earth. I'm excited to grow old with you. I'm excited to see the years pass through hot summer days, venturing around the outdoors, 
and lazy winter evenings filled with crossword puzzles and Jeopardy recordings. I love you. And most importantly, I promise to grow with you, to continue to motivate and inspire one another to lead our most fulfilling lives. Peter, I love you with all of my heart, and I can't wait to see what our future holds.